Hi, today we're going to be working on this laptop. Um, it's affected uh, with the virus. Um, what happens is when every time you switch on your computer, every time the Windows boots, uh, it will automatically load uh, software um, which will do a scan and uh, show you that you're infected and uh, in order to clean these infections you'll have to buy the software um, when you try and run things like the task manager or maybe uh, regedit or msconfig uh, you'll find that uh, these commands will be blocked by this uh, program and uh, it will tell you that it's a, it's a virus okay so this computer starting up Alright, and there we go. So this particular one is called Antivirus Security Pro. Got a whole lot of warnings come up here. Warning infected file. Okay, these are all your startup um, programs which are being blocked. Okay, Antivirus Pro, Antivirus Security Pro, warning suspicious activity. Um, it's running a scan and just picking up a whole lot of warnings, Trojan high, Trojan high. Um, if you try and run your task manager, it will say that it's disabled. If you try and run msconfig, for example, it's OK. Warning msconfig.exe is affected. OK, and it blocks it. So, you basically locked out of the system. Okay, and this particular one will also pop up a little flag with an X and it will say that um, your, your, your computer is under a, a network attack. Okay, so threats found, 27 objects, repair. Okay, and these guys will ask you for some money in order to to buy this software to have this stuff repaired. All these warnings are fake, by the way. The computer only, most probably the only infection in the computer right now is this actual um, fake uh, antivirus security pro. Alright, he has a little flag that's popped up. Warning suspicious activity detected. To keep your computer safe, the threat must be blocked. All fake. Alright, so what you're going to do, just restart your computer. Okay, and just before the window starts up, you're going to press F8 and you're going to select start with the safe mode, start safe, mo safe mode with command prompt. So, you're going to be pressing F8. Okay, so you're going to come down to, yeah, safe mode with command prompt. Once your safe uh, mode with command prompt is uh, loaded, um, if you like, you could um, plug in a flash drive with the anti-malware software like uh, anti-malware bytes and uh, run a scan directly from here. Um, we're going to actually try and manually find the files that are causing the problem and delete them. Okay, so you're just going to type uh, Explorer. And uh, your Windows Explorer will start. Okay. And then you're going to run. So, Windows button and R for run. And you're just going to run msconfig. Now it's working because the malware hasn't uh, loaded. Okay. So, we're just going to. 
and we're going to look for some kind of suspicious startup software. So here we can see the AS 2014. Okay, so that looks like it. So let's just have a look at the path. Program data 9 pnd da -da 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 -da. Program, So it's in the program data. That's the path. Okay, so you want to follow that path. And um, program data. And here are all the files which uh, run that application. Okay, so um, just uh, delete all those files. Okay. You can delete the folder as well. Take the tick out of the startup item. Press OK. And let's do a restart. Okay, so Windows starts up now. That application won't load because we've deleted it, and uh, things will, should be working. Okay, let's just try the task manager. And there we go. Starting normally. Okay. You're gonna run your MS config, your other commands, and there we go back to normal um, you can install a, a decent anti-malware antivirus do another scan just to make sure everything's clean but uh, that's definitely a fix thanks for watching remember there's always a fix